Hello everyone. Today we will introduce how to use AT8100. And I will introduce the buttons for you. The C button is for menu button and return button. And the left and right arrow button is for um, left and right and up and down function. And uh, this right, right button is for power on and power off button. And the confirm button and the testing button. And now we will power on the device. We we'll press the red button. And the tester will power it on, and it will it will make the self check automatically with the buzzer ringing. After that, the tester will enter sync to the main interface like this. In this interface, we can do test or other options. And now we will get into test status. Then press red button and it will get into warming up status. It will ensure its in accuracy. And it shows blow now. And this is active test status if we we'll want to get into passive test status we can press this button and now we will blow through the mouthpiece until we hear click we can stop and it's analyzing and then it will show the result zero means that I didn't drink alcohol. And now we will power on the printer. If we want to print the result, we will enter the red button and uh, select print. Printer will will yeah print the paper of the result. Now we're in the main interface and uh, we can press the C button for menu button and we can select by press the red arrow button and the left arrow button and for record we can press red button to select and it will show the result and the date And we will press button C to quit and get into the main interface. Now we will select the C button and uh, get into setup. Press the right button. And as we can see, we can set up the time, the unit, and print and the pass value and the fill value and the operator number and password setup and delete and the temperature skill and the next calibration date now we will from we'll start from the time setup we'll press the red button for confirm and we'll get into the uh, time setup interface and we will press the red button for change and press left button for the you know the setup and we will right press the red button for confirm and it will save the result and now we will get into next the un unit setup press the red button and we have five cans of uh, unit for your option.
you can select anywhere you would like and just uh, press the red button for save well next one we'll get into the print now we'll get into the print part setup we'll get we'll press enter button and uh, enter our original password which is six zero and press enter and it will show how many quantities you want the printer to print the results you can the the you know the biggest quantity is the three And we then we enter the confirm button for saving. Now next, the pass value setup. And uh, on this data, we need to enter into the password as well. Yeah, you can change the value. And, uh, and enter the red button for saving. Now, next, okay. You can see the fill value set up, which is the same as the pass value. And next, and the number for the operator. We'll press the right button and press our password and press confirm and we will yeah set up the number of the operator by press right arrow button and the left arrow button one zero Zero. So the number of this operator will be one zero zero, and press the confirm button for survey. Yeah. Now next, password setup. We will enter into. We will enter the original password, which is. Six zero six zero and press enter button. Now we can set up our new password. At late, we can select this and uh, enter the password. And we can select if we delete all or not. And for the temperature scale setup, you can choose two kinds of u unit. And the last one is the next calibration date. Date it will show the date of your last calibration. And how many days left for the next calibration? And if we want to power power off the device, we can press the red button for about one second, and it will turn off. Or we can press the button C and select the exit and then press red button. It will power it off. Thank you.